Bang it right away. Predicted. Thank you, Trevor. And we're also still joined here by Forgiven to break that one down. Rocket. It's upset day here uh, in EU. First off, the Renekton, guys. The pick that you guys loved. Let's take a look at the picks <laughs> and bans, because obviously there was a lot of criticism. Uh, but also for Vitality's comp and what they wanted to do or wanted to achieve. I mean, if we start with the Renekton, I personally think it's a horrible pick. Because I don't think he even destroys the likes of Poppy in lane anymore. And when you go even, Poppy will have more impact in late game team fights. The way I see it, at least, compared to Renekton, you just lane swap on him, as we saw in the game. But the comp from uh, Vitality here, what do you think about Sivir in this case? And like the setup they have with Sivir? I think Sivir in general is one of the best champions as in terms of AD carry in the game. But the thing is that nobody from Vitality comp would actually benefit from having this except Poppy. And there are two ways, in my opinion, that uh, that Vitality could do something is if either Poppy started the fight with Sivir ultimate, which is lackluster in my opinion, or if LeBlanc finds a flank on Jin or Azir, which is almost not likely to happen. So I think Vitality were kind of limited uh, by their own picks, in my opinion. Yeah, that's what we saw in the game as well. The engages were the sort of Elise trying to flank as well. We want to take a look at two team fights in this one. First one where it does go well for Vitality. We're going to get that up on your screen because of the zoning of Cabo Shard in the end. Show. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a tough start again for Vitality because as we just talked about, the way to engage fights is either by having Poppy fly in with Sivir ulti, but she always, she's obviously sitting in side lane and wants to TP in, or then like a random cocoon from uh, from Elise. So the comp is really bad at team fighting or starting fights. And now we see like Cocoon lands, but then Shook gets snared, he gets CC'd, everything gets popped onto him, and there's the flank you talked about onto Taps, so but it's not enough. And here, Forgiven as an AD carry, when this happens and the top laner dives you, what do you think? I think you pretty much give up if you are Jin, even with Summer against Poppy, because Alistar and Gagas used their spells aggressively to take Shook out, so there was no backup Jin left for him. So Jin would just flash out and just bail out some seconds more. That's pretty much it. And it's fun always with these team fights because target selection means so much and how you use yeah. your cooldowns, obviously, because if you use everything offensively just to kill an Elise, who's not that important in these fights, your AD carry dies. How difficult is that, though, as an AD carry and as a team to, to practice? I mean, even if Tabs wasn't Zin in this scenario, like, what else Zambian could have actually had to do something against Poppy in this scenario? Like, Keep. I think maybe Ezreal, Blue Ezreal. Sure. Like, even if he had Kalista, even if he had Lucian, if he had MF, Caitlyn, I don't know, pick whatever summon out of uh, the available pool and you put it in this scenario, there is no escape there. You just extend the death and buy time for your team. And I think Rocket was good in a way because they actually found an opportunity into a list and they make a pick. They think this, but there was no call or like information uh, the next seconds for Peel on Jin. So pretty much I think it's pretty much it. And later, it goes even better for Rocket. Let's get another team fight up on your screen where they do well in these team fights, honestly, or how much here is on the shoulders of Vitality? I mean, it's it's tough. Again, we talk about how Vitality's comp is not that good at starting these fights. It's just Poppy kind of diving in. And then you have to get a Zir. You have to be able to kill a Zir when you go in, because late game, he's a monster. We can just roll the clip here. And here, forgiven as you see, Nuke Duck doesn't get his flank. And uh, the lovely Azir late game damage uh, comes into effect. Yeah, I mean, uh, the moment someone gets rooted, like, you're gonna get rooted for a lot of time from Rocket, and Sivir gets wrecked by Azir, and you already see that Vitality are extending for this fight, in my opinion. Even though they could actually just let them base, make a pick, and then take top tower or Baron even. And I think this was way too much forced, and then you see American Sniper tabs. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, decimating soup. So nice, that fourth one. Especially also because Vitality's comp mainly wanted to play 1-3-1. You know, Nuke Dog in one side lane, pop in the other side and when you push in the side lanes then you can roam in towards the jungle and you can get the flanks and you know create the picks in mid lane on Jin with no mobility. It just happened so rarely honestly for Vitality. Can I tell my opinion? Um, I think Rocket in this game had incredible big ban phase. They, in my opinion they had like Alistar, Azir, uh, Jin is okay I guess, like Rankton is fine. I mean it's Freddy pick, it's a pattern <laughs> sure. <that> players <laughs> always will have and uh, Gragas too, so, and if you put what they had in comparison to the other team, like they had Elise, which can only cocoon in the fight, yep. the team fight, like, sure, it's great early game, but w what, uh, what then? And they had Tress, which is not as efficient as Alistar, for example, like we saw it, and the moment Rocket are gonna get a good team fight, I think if they play it properly, it's over. 
and I think it showed me, uh, like two or three times. If you combine it also with the Baron calls that they had, which actually for me gave them the um, uh, opportunities back to the game. And how happy are you now to see Vitality lose? So you guys are still right now the same race. top two? I mean, it's it's a gift, I guess, from Betsy because we were players uh, together in the past. And it's good that uh, we have one more opportunity to at least get first or second seed. But I always wanted to think like it's our spot to lose. And today, like, we didn't have good performance in a very important game. And that becomes, in my opinion, a pattern for us. Like, all the way back from I am Cologne against Ever and to the games we lost today. Like, something happens, like, uh, we just go down in a specific amount of time. And I think if we don't fix it, then I don't know how we're going to do in playoffs, in my opinion. But thank you, Rockets, for giving us the <laughs> <laughs> opportunity yeah. for the first second seed. There we go. And that one. And this also means that if G2 win this next game versus Splice, that they lock in the buy spot. They have one of those uh, one or two spots in that one. So the odds in their favor, at least. Sure. We're going to take a break, though. There's one more match to play out today between Splice and G2 Esports as both teams try to defend their spot in the standings. Don't touch that dial. Week 9 of the Spring Split continues right after this. Nobody's got